become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here in today's video i'm going to share an excellent article written by alan stefan on how to prepare for the 20 rep squat as alan stefan clearly states Miss any movement out of your schedule, but don't forget to do your squats. Remember that without squats, you will never realize your strength and physique potentials. And who can argue with him? I mean, just pause for a moment and admire this incredible side chest pose. That's right. A hell of a lot of breathing squats went into building that massive rib cage and chest. Building the ribcage through the excruciatingly painful 20 rep squat routine increases the heart and lung capacity which supports larger muscle growth. No wonder he can pull off such an incredible side chest pose. Just admire the slabs of pec meat, the softball sized arms, the thick forearms, traps, it's all there. Now the issue with the squat, especially the 20 rep heese breathing squat, is that it is bloody hard. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. As Alan states, to quote, there is no movement that will discourage a beginner more than the squat, and there is no movement that will improve his development as rapidly. If you want to put on muscle fast, then the squat is for you, end quote. Equally, he points out that in the silver era, if an Olympic lifter wanted to increase his totals, they would squat as no other exercise would increase their power faster. A great example, of course, was world heavyweight champion John Davis, who also advocated squatting. I mean, what more proof do you need? Alan states that the problem with beginners is that they have little to no experience handling weights, that is heavyweights, and therefore their bodies are not ready to handle the weights needed in the squat. So he recommends preparing in the following manner. Quote, all beginners should prepare themselves by thoroughly accustoming the muscles of the back and legs to the hard work they are about to undergo in the squat, end quote. The two movements he recommends to prepare the beginners are the good morning exercise and the single-legged squat. To perform the single-legged squat, you want to stand on the floor with a bench ideally behind you, and you want to hook your non-exercising leg on the bench behind you, as shown in the diagram. Bend the exercising leg at the knee to parallel, and then you press back up to standing. You want to repeat the movement using your body weight initially for 10 reps of 3 sets each, and then work up to 20 reps for 3 sets. Once you are able to do this, you can add resistance using a pair of dumbbells, and you want to practice this movement at least for a month before performing the barbell squat. So while the single-legged squat will prepare your legs for the squat, the good morning exercise will prepare your lower back for the squat. To perform the good morning exercise, you want to place a barbell across your shoulders with a grip wider than shoulder width. And you want to have your feet, as shown in the diagram as well, wider than shoulder width. You lean forward until your trunk is parallel to the floor, keeping your legs straight, and then you rise back up to an upright position. You repeat the exercise for 15 reps over two sets, and you want to start light and increase the weight slowly. You want to practice this movement at least for a month before performing the barbell squat. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the 20 rep squat and other silver era techniques for gaining strength and size, I would highly recommend you get on my website, www.goldenerabookham.com for titles such as the Silver Era Mass Programs, a new ebook available now on my website that details the original 20 rep squat program, as well as many other mass gaining programs and special exercises such as the Raider Chest Pull, the Dumbbell Pullover, etc. for ribcage expansion. I also have Reg Park's titles such as Rib Cage and Chest Development, which also features the 20 rep squat and the original 5x5 routine, a legendary routine for developing strength and mass, all available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video on Alan Stephan's recommendations on preparing for the 20 rep squat. Although squatting, especially for 20 reps, can be brutal, the gains made are truly steroid-like, and it is truly worth the effort if you want to get big and strong. 
I remember when I went from 65 kilos to 95 kilos in 18 months and people everywhere in my gym were screaming steroids when I did the 20 rep squat program years ago. And I can tell you, it completely changed me. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please like and share and subscribe for more content like this. To support my research, please donate via PayPal, become a patron, or visit my website for out of print books and courses on old school bodybuilding and email me if you wish to collaborate or pass on your bodybuilding relics. That's it from me. This is the golden era bookworm saying bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code bookworm12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.